Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build a McDonnell Douglas MD11 which is a kind of a free engined uh, medium to long range wide body uh, jetliner. It's actually pretty big, it's not as big as the Boeing 747 of course but it is it has still got quite a lot of room on the inside. Uh, so we've just got these steps here. You can see that it does go down quite far and also that it has quite a nice cockpit as well. Um, it's actually very, you know, got a crew of uh, two to actually fly it, but I've kind of put in a couple extra seats and you've got all these seats going down as well as this kind of back area here and the bathroom. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's one of my earlier kind of commercial airliners compared to the, the later ones, like I've got the Lockheed uh, TriStar over there, so it's, it's kind of a slightly earlier one um, where I haven't actually bent the wings up, so it still looks very, you know, really, really cool. So I'm just going to fly it over. Well, actually, I'm going to tell you the dimensions of the plane first. Now I'll just fly over the tutorial area while giving you guys kind of a, a prep talk of what you're going to be expecting from this tutorial. So it's 62 blocks long in total. It's 19 high, I believe. Yep. Yeah. And let's have a look. 51 wide. So it's nowhere near as big as the Boeing 747 still quite sizable. So this is going to be a layer by layer tutorial as most of my tutorials are. I just find that this is the easiest way to teach you guys in an incredibly simple way that allows you to guys to have breaks and find yourself, you know, find where you were in the tutorial. Um, so say if you did finish on layer number five, the next hour I'm actually going to announce every layer what which one I'm on. So I'll say and now on layer number six, so you're able to find it pretty fast and pretty quickly. I won't be doing an interior tutorial on this one, even though you can see me flying over it, because I've kind of just taken the schematic off my world. Um, but I will be kind of giving you another walkthrough right at the end to show you exactly what I've done, and I'll be talking about kind of a couple of ideas that you guys uh, might want to use in kind of doing the interior on your own plane. Um, so if you do use this on a map or on a surface or a bench map or anything like that make sure that you do credit me for the design. So by this I mean shove up a sign somewhere, maybe in the cockpit right here, and just put designed by Lord Dacker and then you can have built by and put your name in there, that's absolutely fine. Um, as I do spend a huge amount of time getting through these tutorials, not only building them in the first place, but cutting them up into an easy to understand way and to make sure that you guys kind of understand and also you guys can learn not only how to build the direct plane, but how to go about doing them in general. So giving me credit for the design really is hugely appreciated. Um, so you guys that are on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 4 versions, I am using the quartz slabs and quartz stairs. Um, but you can still do this one completely fine. If you wanted to, you could actually switch it out for your sandstone. So you've got the sandstone slabs and the sandstone stairs on that. So you have a kind of yellowish one and you can, you know, sure you guys can do some cool livery kind of things on it which is when you actually have the different styles on them um, as you can see this one is a completely blank one the reason I do this is because I do get requests for doing them in for example the British Airways uh, colors but if I if I do one of them you guys will ask for even more and it will take me years and years and years to get through all the different variations on a single plane and how to do it so I will just give you guys a blank canvas and you can put on whatever kind of uh, color scheme you want and things like that. Um, so yeah, the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 4 users either use it completely and do it completely out of sandstone. Another thing you can do is just switch out both the quartz stair and quartz slab for your stone slab for the time being. Um, and that will look kind of like this. It won't look too bad. It might even give yourself a kind of interesting striping on it. Um, and then when you do, do do get the actual quartz, you can always then come back and just switch out a couple of those blocks. So let's get started on this tutorial. Okay, and for the first layer, what we're going to do is we're just going to set out the kind of wheels. So you just need to put down two blocks of black wall here. We're going to connect them with a fence gate this time. This is the new way that I've kind of come up with for doing wheels. Reason being that when you connect fence, of course, it doesn't kind of look quite right. So if you use a fence gate, it kind of looks like they're actually connected like that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to have a fence directly on top. And again, and then it goes back by one like this as if it was going to be connecting in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to count back a total of 21. I'm going to use stone slabs to show you exactly what I mean. So we've got one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. And just add one to each side like this. And we have three blocks of black wall here on each side. Then a one block gap, then another three. Just like this. And then again, grab your fence gates. And this is another reason that the fence gates look quite good. Because these two wheels are connected. These two wheels are connected. And these two. Whereas if you just use your fence, it kind of creates a big mesh, I guess. Uh, so it just keeps everything a little bit tidier. So just put these in here. I'm just going to take out a couple of these stone slabs. And then just put your fence directly on top like this. And then just on the back too, you're going to have two pieces of fence here. So we've got fence on top of them. And just on the back too, you're going to have a fence like this. And at the minute, they don't really look like wheels. So what we do is we just put buttons on them. And just put them on the inside and also on the outside of each of these ones here. And also, don't forget to do the ones at the front like this. So just put your wheels on like that, and we'll get onto the next layer. Okay, and since we've just done layers number one, two, and three in one go, we are now on to layer number four. So, right in the front place here, we're just going to place one block directly on top of this kind of stem that goes up, not on this back one here. Then we're then going to add four blocks to the front. So, you've got one, two, three, four. And counting these five that we've already got, we're going to go back by 43 in total. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and 43. And then if you put two slabs on the back and one on the front. Come right to the front and just add one slab right to the front like that. Okay, for the next part, what we're going to do is leave one block. We have an upside down stair right here, so we've got this one block showing, so we should have slab, block, then stair. Then on the back of this one, we're going to have 39 blocks. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. And then just add two slabs onto the back. And then what I'm going to be doing for these tutorials, as I do with most of them, if you just copy onto the other side, we'll get onto the next kind of addition. Okay, and the next part, what you're going to do is you're going to have an upside down stair just on this one block back. So you've just got this here. So instead of having it actually one block back, it's right kind of not next to it, but just diagonal like this. And behind it, you're going to add 37 blocks. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 45, 46, 37. And then just one block, one slab right on the end. So you've just got that extra slab there. Do the same on the other side. And for the next bit, what we're going to do is we're just going to leave these two here, and then we're going to have. A total of 14 slabs, so we've just left the stair and we've left the block, then we've gone back to this one, you've got 14, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. If you can then grab your wool and go 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, which will connect to this part here. Then with your slabs again, you're going to have 9, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8 and 9, so I'm going to have to recount this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, yep. So you should just have a slab and then a block, then this part here, so copy that onto the other side and we'll do the wings and the engine. Okay, now onto the wings, so I'm only going to show you how to do it on one side, um, as sometimes it can be a bit tricky, so I advise that after you've done it, kind of a section that I've been teaching you, just flip it onto the other side, I'll show you exactly what I mean as I go through it. So we've got this kind of blocks going across here, I think we've got 12 or so blocks going across this part. Uh, what we're going to do is just off this one, we're going to add two. And then we're going to go back like this. So this is the front of the plane here. So we've got two. And this one here is going to be a three. So you've got one, two, three. Next one is a one. Now we've got seven sets of two. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Just like that. Now we've got two going this way, like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start from this side here. So if you grab your slabs, and we're going to have 12 slabs. So just off this block here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then come 
come up towards the back, and we're going to have nine slashes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, which should just line up there. So then I advise copying this straight onto the other side, and then all you need to do to finish up this part here is just fill it in with your white wool. So do that, and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, and then just for the wing tips, all you need to do is place down a slab right on this end here. And if you come on top of it and you know, just have two stairs like that, so we've got a slab on the lower bit and two stairs. So do the same on the other side. Okay, and then for the jet engine, what you need to do is well, we've got this three on the wing. You're just going to add three blocks one, two, and three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build a tube like we have done on the Boeing 747 tutorial and my other airplane tutorials. So this one's going to go back by six. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And uh, same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and also on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Right at the back, put a block of iron and then put a button on it. So this just gives us this kind of basic tube, which at the minute doesn't look very good, but if we grab our stairs, just put them on the sides of them, like this, and also on the bottom. And same on the other side. Like that, and you can see that it makes it look a lot more circular. And you can grab your glowstone, or also you can use a black piece of wool. Uh, so I'll show you that first. You can place this in, inside and then put iron bars so you can get that. Or you can actually use glowstone, which is a really good place to hide some lighting uh, for the external kind of part of the plane. And that's kind of what I go with for that one. So it's a really easy way. If you are on the Xbox and you are using stone slabs, it'll still look pretty good. So if I just take off these here, not all of them. <laughs> but uh, most of them, it'll still look fine with this um, as I actually use this stone slab way on my other one so it doesn't look too bad uh, but it's really up to you, it does look a little bit better with the stairs but depending on what you got, uh, it's kind of what you got so uh, just copy that onto the other side and then we can start making the main part of the plane Okay, and now after a really long layer number four, we are on to layer number five. So come to the front and come forwards just off this block and have a one. Then have another one, a two. Don't worry about these gaps. We are going to be filling them in in a second. So that's two here. And now we're going to have a four. So you've got one, two, three, and four. And this is where I put in a door. So I'm going to be just putting in a door here for the time being. You can put them in wherever you kind of want. Um, there is this one here which is right next to the engine which kind of gets knocked into it so you might want to pull this one back or forwards when we put in the windows you can just switch them out there uh, so now what we're going to do is we are going to have a 9 so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and this is where I put in the door and then 13 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and then you've got your door again and then 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and this is where you've got a door, and then you're going to have to come out onto this part here, and you're going to have a one, then you're going to go in, and you've got four, one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to go in, and you're going to have a one, and then you have a two, one, two, just like that. So with these gaps, all you need to do is just put in an extra block, uh, same right on the front. So if you do the same on the other side as well, we'll put in the slabs, and we're done with the layer. Okay, so on the front, what you're going to do is you're going to have a slab here, so you've got slab, 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 so you've got three slabs there. Then this one you're going to have an upside down stair. You just do it on the other side, so you've just got a slab, slab, and then this one here is a stair like that. And then on the back, add a slab. So you've got slab, 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 and then there's going to be two slabs on this part here. So you've got slab here, slab, slab, and then two slabs. Just like that, and we're done with layer number five. Okay, and then for layer number six, what we're going to do is you're going to have one block straight on top of this one here, not on top of the slab, um, as that's just for the nose part there, but you're going to have a one block here. Then one, two, and then four, one, two, three, and four, which will bring up the door. These ones are going to be straight on top. I uh, will cut out the windows after we've actually done this layer, as it's really, really easy. So just bring these and join them between the doors like this. So those will just be straight on top. Now on this door here, what you're going to do is have four blocks. So you've got one, two, three, and four. Then you have a three, one, two, and three. Then a one, and then a two. So then do that on the other side, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, and then for the windows, what you need to do is I've just gone basically door, block, window, block, window, and just done it every other one. And this will line up perfectly, um, as I've already counted it out before. 
I'll just get it between these ones. And then right on the back, you can see that I've got an extra window here. So you can just add, take out this one and put in a window. And then also, of course, do it on the other side. Switch out these blocks. Like this. And leave the, the front kind of part here for the time being. Uh, the only one that you might want to change is this door. You might want to switch this door to here, uh, which is what I was talking about earlier. So you can actually switch over here. And then put the window in there so you can get the ramp going down this way. Um, but to, to stop me confusing myself, I'm going to put it in its original position uh, so that when I'm actually learning it, how to teach you guys, then it'll be a lot easier. But we'll just put the slabs on this layer and we're done with it. And on the front, we're just going to mirror what we did on the bottom layer. So we've got slab, 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 and then a stair. This time the stair is the right way up like this. The same on the other side, slab, slab, and then you've got your stair like that. And then grab your slabs, and these just go in the gaps at the back, just like we were doing before. So I've just got them in these gaps here, just like that, and we are done for layer number six. Okay, now for layer number seven, what we're going to do first, we're just adding a couple extra blocks. We're adding one here, and just on these sides. This is just so the glass can actually fit on it nicely, as I always think it looks a little bit better. But we are going to be one block back from this one. We're going to go one, one, and one, just like this. And then on the back of these, you're just going to add one block. And then on the side here, we're going to have a stair. And this one is going to go straight over and on top. And it goes over the last layer by two. So if we just keep on dragging this one all the way back. So from this one here, we're just going to add two. So you have one, two. And then we're going to have two, two, and two to finish it up. So do the same on the other side. And we'll put on the slabs on the back. And we are done for this layer. OK, so add two slabs right to the end. And there's just going to be one right in these gaps, so just like that. So we've just got these two right on the end like that, and we'll get onto the next layer. Okay, now we're onto layer number eight. So what you need to do is come to the front, and you're just going to come in by one block. You have one, one, and then this one here is going straight on top of this block, and it's going to go all the way back. So it's not going on top of this wall anymore. It's actually going inwards and starting to kind of create this roof. So if you bring this all the way back and directly on top of the last full block, not the slab, and now we're just going to add two blocks. So add two blocks, then you're going to have a two, and then a three. So then do this on the other side and I'll show you where the slabs go. And if you grab your slabs and just put these on top of the glass here, and then right on the side one here, this is just going to go all the way back as well. So let's drag this one all the way back. Directly on top of the last layer. And then go on top of this slab here and just add an extra one, just like that. So we're getting this kind of solid block, slab, block, slab. And then you, this would be a block, but of course it's a slab. So do the same on the other side. And also what you need to do is just on the end this time, not in these gaps anymore, just on this end, you're just going to add two slabs right to the end of it. And then just do the slab thing on the other side. And we're done with layer number eight. Okay, for layer number nine, which is the kind of final roof layer of the actual plane, what we're going to do is we're going to go to slabs again and just come inwards here. I'm just going to have two going back here and then just two on the sides like this. And if you grab your blocks just behind it, and we're just going to drag these pretty much all the way back. And I'll show you actually where I'm trying to figure out exactly where as well. So just in line. With this part, so actually, is pretty much as far back as they can go without going on top of anything. Let's do the same on the other side as well. Just drag this one all the way back. And let me put it in there. And then also in the middle, if we just bring this one back to the next same point as well. Like that. And then right in this middle one, we're just going to add eight blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it should just go over by one block right on the end like that. Okay, now we're going to build these kind of back parts here. So what you need to do is grab your slabs. And it's just on this part here, you're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. And then this is uh, goes out by five in total like this. Then add a four. Now we're going to have another five, but this time it's not going to be in front. It's going to be slightly back. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. Two sets of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then two sets of three right on the end like that. So we go to the other side as well, might as well do the same. So we got one, two, three, four, five, this goes three out. And we got four, and we got five, 
cannon on this one, so it's going back slightly. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. Two sets of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three, and I'm getting completely messed up. Four and four, and two sets of three, like that. Okay, and then what you need to do is we're just going to be setting up the last bit, which has got the last engine on it, and the kind of uh, whatever it's called, the stabilizer type thing. So from the back, just counting three blocks, you've got one, two, three. And you're just going to add eight blocks. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You put five slabs down, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and now for the last jet engine, what you're going to do is you're going to come forwards by one block like this and just bring this one completely on top. And it's also going to be one block on the other side as well. And now if we just come right on top of this and we go to the side and go diagonally like this, and it'll be at the same length. So do this on the other side as well. And just bring this one back. And also on top. I'm just going to have one there. So this creates this really long tube like this, similar to the ones that we've actually got on the bottom. If you grab your stairs now, and just put these in on the sides. Like that. And the same on the other side as well. Just like this, and the same here. And just like we did before, I'm actually just going to have to grab these blocks. But you can kind of choose whatever you've done on the bottom one. Do the same up here. I'm just going to put in my glowstone and also my iron bars like that. And then on the back with your iron, this time what we're going to do is we're going to create a cross shape. So we've got a cross here and then on the back just add two right to this bit and put a button on the back. So that'll finish off that engine. Okay, so with your quartz slabs, what you're going to do is you just have one here, here and here. So it just goes over a little bit here. You've got this here, then you've got five. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. And you're going to come in one block and you're going to have a four. One, two, three, and four. And on top of this one, you're going to have a five, so you get one, two, three, four, and five. So it just goes over by one like that. Then you have a four, which will just be in one block like this. And another four, which is directly on top. And then just a three to finish it up. And that is it. Um, so now what I'm going to do is uh, we actually finished completely with the plane. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through a couple of the stuff that you can do on the inside, as well as the actual lighting and how I went about it. Um, so that will give you guys a couple of ideas. So let's just go inside now. Um, so what I actually did is because I gave this extra block here, you can see that we've actually got this for lighting. Um, so I'll show you how to do that on the actual one and where I've actually done it. But I usually line it up with my windows like this. It's makes it easy. You could actually go in the middle, but I'm kind of uh, I like it being really uniform. Same with the seats. I've actually just used I think spruce wood stairs on this one. I put them next to the window, the reason being if we go outside of the actual plane, uh, when you fly past you can see them really clearly. Um, if you actually put it one back you can't see them as clearly and it doesn't look like seats, so when you actually do a fly through like this, it looks like they're where they should be on a real plane. Um, so the other thing I've done is actually just kind of, of course, sectioned off this front part where I've got this front door, I've created a wall going across, and I've got a door, and because the actual glass is up one I had to create this small little place here to go up where you've got the two main pilot seats and I've just got jukeboxes and I think crafting tables and because we are up one more block I kind of wanted to have this roof free kind of high um, but you could actually put in a light up here so you could put actually put in uh, some glowstone up here and then make it smaller but I kind of wanted it to be a bit bigger and actually feel a bit higher as well so you can get these kind of levers on here and also button up there as well, um, but there's not really too much to that. It is supposed to be um, a two kind of to only have two seats really in it, but I wanted to put in a couple extra because these kind of alcoves actually look pretty cool when you're here, and you can also put in a couple of buttons, I guess, as well. Um, and then if we just fly down the bottom, uh, actually these as well. These are just using the quartz slabs and just bringing them all the way across, all the way through the plane, just there, and that's where I, it's kind of where you put your hand luggage. Um, another thing you could do is you could just put in a full block of something every so often and put a button on it as well. Something like that might work, or if I just grab a couple extra blocks. Um, using item frames and also using your trap doors, and I have seen some really quite complex stuff where you can actually use signs as well. So you can actually put item frame and have a trap door on it, and then you can actually put a sign with nothing on it, which kind of creates this type thing here. I'm 
not 100% sure on it yet, but you can use something like that, or you can just put a sign to make it look like it's kind of got a little cabin and I'm stepping on a door. Um, or you can just do it like I've done and just gone simply with the slabs going across. Um, so I've got the back kind of section here as well, which I've just kind of cut off, and I've got a couple of furnaces in where the food would be, and also where the, um, uh, the what are they called, would be as well, where they can actually sit and relax before coming giving you your kind of food and in the back room here for a sink I've kind of used an item frame and a glass pane and and I've got a toilet just in here which is a cauldron with a uh, trap door on it but that's pretty much it um, there's not really too much I mean, there is quite a lot you can do with the interior you can make it kind of like a private really big private jet if you wanted to um, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.